my version of jalapeno poppers. Okay, there's the jalapenos. I think I've got like 16 of them. I'm gonna cut them open and deseed them, okay? I'm gonna fill them up with my special ingredients and I will go ahead and get this started for you, okay? I've got all my equipment ready, my mixing bowls, my Parmesan cheese, my blue cheese or gorgonzola, anchovy paste, one egg, and breadcrumbs, and then of course our seasonings, okay? So um, let's get started. Okay, so what I've done to try to save time is I went ahead and cut my jalapenos open. I cut them in half, okay? See here, in half. Get a little zoom zoom on there for you. Now, the, 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 the hardest part of making jalapeno poppers Gracie's way is just deseeding the seeds out of our beautiful jalapenos, okay? So that's gonna take a little bit, a few minutes, and uh, be very careful, because the seeds, of course, are very <laughs> spicy and hot, and you don't wanna taste, you, you don't wanna uh, touch your face or nose or anything. You can also wear gloves if it helps you out. Um, I don't, because I'm constantly washing my hands. But again, <clears throat> I just wanted to save a moment or two I cut these open for you and I'm gonna go ahead and start working on deseeding them, okay? There they are, all cut open. Okay, guys? All right. Okie dokie, smoky. I'll be back. Well, hello and welcome to Home Cooking with me, Gracie. Today I'm making uh, my version of jalapeno poppers. Um, who doesn't like fried foods? But it's not the best for us now, is it? So I've created another recipe that is just as delicious, I'd like to think so, at least everyone tells me that. Um, my jalapenos will be um, baked, and I'm gonna stuff them with gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, an egg to bind, anchovies, fresh anchovies, I prefer best at all times, but I don't have any fresh anchovies. So I meant anchovy paste. I always use extra virgin olive oil, you know, as a moisture, keep it together. Uh, I may mention um, my Parmesan cheese as well, and seasonings, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and de all this and return. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've returned. What I've done for you to, uh, <clears throat> to get through uh, the minutes, and I've actually timed myself, it was 5.30 when I started de 16 large jalapenos. Look, mira, what are that? Beautiful, yeah? And it only took seven minutes, so yeah. But I left two so I could show you what I mean, okay? So you're gonna cut your beautiful jalapenos in half. All right, these are nice big ones too. You're gonna grab a teaspoon or anything similar to a teaspoon where you can do some scooping, all right? You're gonna scoop it, hold it from the top where it's the most firmest. You don't wanna break your little jalapeno. You might hear me refer to it as a canoe or a boat. <laughs> Once I scoop anything out, it looks like a canoe to me, okay? So if you hear me say canoe or boat, that's what I'm talking about. So let me just go ahead and get the seeds out. What I've done is I've reserved some of the jalapeno uh, seeds in my mixing bowl over here. And we're gonna add that in our filling. <clears throat> you can add as much or as little as you want. Uh, jalapenos, when you see the little like veins um, coming through it or when they look a little cracked, those are very mature and those are very spicy, very hot. So you can kind of top gauge on the jalapenos that you want. If you want a smooth uh, surface without the little white cracks, um, they're gonna be milder in flavor. If you want the ones that are more mature, that last on the vine longer, um, or that has been sitting longer, they're gonna have a little bit of the cracks in the um, exterior, which means they're spicier. Okay, so let's continue. These are all scooped out. These are 16 jalapenos. And of course, you're gonna double that by two. That's how many we have right now. I'm going to get rid of my little garbage bowl over here, and we're gonna to start to assemble our stuffing. Okay, so again, I'm so used to working in a very narrow, small space. I hope you can see me okay. All right. Yes, Leah, I hear you in the back of my mind. Get going, Mom, get going, hurry up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna to try to hurry up. Okay, boom. All right, I've got a few little seeds here. Let's not waste. <clears throat> I'm gonna take those seeds and put them in my bowl, okay? I'm gonna add red chilies. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a family member that just startled me. <laughs> okay! All right, so uh, you can use gorgonzola cheese, which is my favorite to use. I've got one container of regular blue cheese. I couldn't find my gorgonzola. Uh, blue cheese and all gorgonzola blue cheese. It's a sweeter version of your regular um, blue cheese. 
uh, Italian version, Gorgonzola. It's a little sweeter, okay? But today I'm going to use this, and I'm going to post all the ingredients and the portions at the end of my video. And by the way, if you happen to like the video, and you don't do it now, do it later, you know, please hit the like button and then hit subscribe button. I'd appreciate it very much. This is a new thing that I'm doing. He's distracting me bad, bad. <laughs> Anywho, here's the blue cheese. I'm going to go ahead and add it all, okay? Hit the subscribe. And if you want notification when I upload my next video, you hit the little ring-a-ding uh, bell button and it'll tell you the next time I upload. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Someone told me that they can't hear me very well. I find that hard to believe, but <laughs> maybe it's true. But we'll keep going, all right? So there's one container. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. I'm going to say it was a 10-ounce container. Again, I will post it at the end of the videos. And um, I've got my one egg. I've got my half um, cup of Parmesan cheese. You can use um, mozzarella cheese. You can use Pecorino Romano. Whatever you were, whatever you want to do, but um, I prefer to use the Parmesan today. So half a cup of that, and we're going to do. Hmm, I'm not using panko. I'm just using regular Italian breadcrumbs with seasonings. Okay, and I got my little garbage bowl down here. Ah. Uh, well, okay, this one's panko. <laughs> we'll go with the flow. We'll go with the flow. I've got a lot of peppers here, so I'm going to do a cup. Panko is just, um, there's more absorb absorption to panko if you add liquid to it. It stands up a little better. Um, it spreads a little further. Um, and then certainly crisps psst, a lot better. So in this, we will crisp the top of the uh, jalapenos, and I'll show you uh, at the finale. Okay, are we at a cup? We are just a smidgen over. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna crack my egg. Always crack it on the flat surface and not against your rim. You don't wanna get the shells in it, so. Okay, like so, boom, boom. And we're gonna have my little mapi, which I don't have. Ah, abracadabra. <laughs> Okay, it is important now to get um, some of your uh, seasonings in. So what I want to do is freshly ground pepper always. Mm. Oh, I like the oil when you crush that pepper and it's nice and fresh. You can use regular, um, you know, uh, black pepper that's not freshly ground. That's okay too. You, you want to be careful with the salt. The gorgonzola or the blue cheese has a little bit of salt content in it, like most anything we buy. Okay. But I'm going to do a little bit. Freshly ground uh, salt. I like um, sea salt. I like pink and Himalayan salt. And I like kosher salt. Those are the salts that I use. There's different um, minerals and salts. And then there's some that don't have any minerals. And why use those, right? So, okay, like so. Believe it or not, I'm going to use my Italian red hot chili flakes. I have a very spicy um, palette. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> All right, all right. Okay, so let me go ahead and mix it. And I'm not even going to bother getting another utensil, but certainly you can. I've got one here, less for us to um, clean up later. Okay. Um, okay, so what do we have? We have Parmesan cheese. We have our beautiful breadcrumbs. Normally the breadcrumbs have seasoning in it, and this one did not, so I'm going to add my own seasonings, as I usually do. <clears throat> I always have oregano, dried oregano on hand. I love fresh... Um, um, I love fresh herbs, but I don't always have it on hand, or it doesn't last all that long, okay? So, good amount of my oregano. I'll do my parsley. I'm going to do my anchovy paste. I prefer the actual um, anchovy fillets, but I don't have that today. So, let's see. For sure... And let me do more, and I'll tell you how much that is later. Nice. And if you think you don't like anchovies, <clears throat> yeah, you haven't had them like this. Okay, so we'll just get this out of the way. And the only thing I think I'm missing is garlic powder. So let me get my garlic powder. Add some garlic powder. Okay, now olive oil is going to um, help bind it along with the egg. But you are, I'm looking for a little bit of fat, a little good fat, a little moisture. Okay, I have a new spat, so it comes out a little less quickly, which is fine. My sweetheart got me something. 
Uh, he calls it a misto. And you put it in here and you put the oil of your choice in here. And then you just pump it, pump it, pump it. <laughs> and you can also spray on top of whatever food that you want if you want more control. But that's how easy this um, recipe is. All right, I might even add another, well, let's we'll see. We'll see, maybe a little more olive oil. These, um, I use a lot of avocado oil and I use a lot of extra virgin olive oil. I don't use the other oils too much. I've learned a little bit more about the different oils and how it's processed, how it's made, and how sometimes it's not so great for our system. We have a hard time processing it, digesting it. Whereas these neutral, um, clean oils are much better. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want it too wet. Okay, that looks about right. That's the consistency I'm looking for. Um, kind of like a sand. You know, you want it sandy. You don't want it too um, much together. When it bakes in the oven, it will hold and it would um, uh, melt together and it would be beautiful. So I don't want it to get too um, oily. Again, trying to um, cook as lean as I can and keeping it delicious. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and get my pan. Look at this tiny surface. Okay, we'll go like this. All right, and we'll start stuffing. This part could be a little on the messy side, but who cares? You want it to be fun. You want to get in there with your hands every time you can. Your hands are actually your best tools, you know? But, because I'm doing this for you, <laughs> try to be nice and neat. And I will drizzle extra virgin olive oil um, on the end uh, before it goes in the oven. So what I do is I just fill it up uh, just a bit over the top of um, the sides of the jalapenos. And if I have extra, then I'll go back and restuff them. But I just want to make sure I have enough. You want to push down a little bit. You don't want it falling out. But again, with the olive oil and the egg um, as binders, you should be okay. Push down just a little. I'll probably cut out and come back when this is all done. I don't want to lose you already, bore you to tears. Look at this big one. Woohoo! <laughs> so, what a great snack. We actually make a meal out of this as well, but these are um, things I like to put together when we're having a get together and you know snacks. Um, potato skins, jalapeno popper, roasted peppers, my version of chicken wings. Ah, oh, beautiful. That silly song. Beautiful cover girl. <laughs> I had that song in my head since I was a child and that just sticks with me. Does anybody else have songs like that in their head they can't seem to get rid of? Okay. So let's get going here. I'm gonna cut out guys. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I've returned. Okay, um, my camera looks a little crooked. I hope it's not too bad. But anyways, um, I can't tell a lie. I went ahead and I recommend the same for you. Stuff these jalapeno pop uh, poppers by hand. It's so much easier. I time myself and I stuff them in eight minutes, okay? So just grab them and stuff them with your hands. Your hands are your best tools, of course. And the actual warmth of your fingers touching um, your ingredients helps them um, meld together. So hey, where do you go? This is ready to go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so 24. So only 12, I had enough stuffing for 12 peppers. Mind you, they were large peppers. I had 16 initially, but there was too many. So I didn't have enough stuffing. So 12 large peppers cut in half, 24, boom, All right? So we're just gonna go ahead and finish this off and get it in the oven. So I think I have enough chili flakes. I have, I like it spicy. All right, fine. <laughs> a little more on top. Only because I know these jalapenos are not as spicy as I prefer. I couldn't find any with the little cracks in them. The little vein running through the back of the skin there, which indicates um, my wonderful Hispanic uh, Domingo. He taught me that. He said, look for the jalapenos that are a little cracked and they look like they have these little cracks on it. Those are the hottest ones. So from him, I learned that little tip. Okay, and now we want to make sure that the panko breadcrumbs and the parmesan cheese gets that little crisp that we want on the end. So when you bite it, not only is it soft and moist, but on the outside it's crunchy, okay? 
flavor, flavor, flavor. And again, this is so much healthier for us, right? Than if we were to deep fry them. Everything I'm doing. Okay, everyone, I've returned. Uh, it was 20 minutes exactly, um, and the jalapeno poppers are done. I took the liberty of taking them out of the oven already and plating some of them up. They're gorgeous. I tried one um, and just to see if they needed more salt or if they needed a little bit more extra virgin olive oil, if there wasn't enough moisture, but guess what? It didn't need any more salt and it doesn't need any extra virgin olive oil. And see what I mean? How beautiful is that, right? Look at how nice I, t I had one. I have to try another one. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm a little messy here, but Delicious. Wow. If I do say so myself. Nice. Lovely. Again, this is my version of jalapeno poppers. Much healthier than deep frying anything, of course, and tasty, tasty, tasty. If you don't believe me, you try it yourself. <laughs> Again, easy breezy to put together, okay? Mm mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Add a little salt, okay, for flavor. And I just like to have them in the fridge cold. Believe it or not, I will take the cooked jalapenos and add them to scrambled eggs, add them on a sandwich, add them on a hamburger, or eat them just like that with a little bit of. Um, bread. Um, so um, I'm one for not wasting anything. So you can always um, repurpose whatever your leftovers are. These I didn't have a chance to use them for my jalapeno poppers. So I'm just going to saute them in extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. So again, thank you for joining me. Um, cooking with Gracie. So, I guess, thank, you. Um, thank you for joining me today. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe. I'd like that very much if you did. And if you want to be notified the next time I upload another video, just go ahead and hit the ring a ding little icon and it'll give you notification when I upload another video. So um, thank you for joining me today. Lift each other up, protect one another, um, spread joy and happiness wherever you go and happiness will find you. Until next time, God bless. <laughs>